Okay, here is part two. I'm going to name this video Michael Jackson Death Hoax Clues Cover Up. I like that one. Michael Jackson Death Hoax Clues Cover Up. And this will be part two. Okay, so we were talking about how Peter joined Twitter on uh, June that Peter joined Twitter. Let me see if I still have that up. So, I'll, so this will be a complete thought. Okay, that Peter joined Twitter. Here we go. That Peter joined Twitter on June 20, uh, on June 23rd. It shows it here. That's what it says right now on Twitter, that he opened up his Twitter account about 40, 40 hours before the death announcement. Not too bad, but it's better than that, right? So we have that. So now let's go to my historical proof, okay, that Twitter, it must have changed times. He must have played with the time zone some kind of way. Because here, if you go to followme.com, follow me, the glove one, follow.me, and you put that in, and I already put in the glove one. So now they're giving me the updated info today, okay? Today's updated info. And it is going to tell me ah that he opened it on wednesday june 24th at 3 29 a.m in los angeles and it was the pacific coast okay here we go join twitter there and it was the pacific coast see the glove one you see the greatest milestone that's the glove one see and then this goes to je which is his jackson's empire so you guys know so here's his Jackson's empire. Okay, so we got that straight. So here on Follow Me, it shows that he opened it on June 24, 2009 at 329. But when you go to, um, when you go to uh, the, the actual Twitter page, it says June 23rd, 2009 at 829 p.m. Okay, so I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh, wow. Hmm, what do I do? I know it was on the 24th. I know I got proof. Ah! Why don't I go and I look at my old videos? Because Twitter has made a lot of changes and rules and policies and procedures. They change a lot in nine years. Okay, so here's one of my videos for a historical perspective. And I need to go to the time code of two minutes and 10 seconds. Which, okay, so I'm gonna turn the sound down. Okay, because we really don't need the sound for this. So this is one of the first videos, not the first that I did after Peter called me. He called me for the first time January 15, 2012, right? So here we go. So let's go to 2 minutes and 10 seconds. I'll go a little bit. Let's go a little bit before this. Okay, so this is one. Peter Pan, Michael Jackson, wink, wink, nod, nod. Ah, look at that. Look at that. See, I have this saved, and this video was released January 30th, 2012. It's not the first video I did on him. It's the second video I did on him after he called me for the first time January 15th, 2012. See, Twitter. See, this is the Twitter. How long have you been on Twitter? His original name was Peter Pan PYT. Tell me. See, June 24th, 2009. And also changing his name to the glove one. Oh, my phone is getting warm. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I am so, 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 so sorry. I got to cool this off. I got to cool this off. Yep, that's a card that Micheline gave me. Thanks, Micheline. Thank you so much. So I'm, I'm cooling off my phone. You see the fan? I'm cooling off my phone. Okay, so here's a historical perspective. June 24, 2009, that's one of the videos. So let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, and this is and these links to the video um, that I'm showing you guys, it's under a bit of inspiration and love. And it's under the part with 25 with 25 um, different ones, right? So that's one. So here's another one that I've done. Here's another, oh, it's getting warm. Gosh, sheesh, golly.
Okay, but we had as many as 62 people in here at one point. Okay, so here's another video, okay, that I did. And I need to go to 8 minutes and 13 seconds time code. This one's called Michael Jackson, Peter Pan, PYT, and a Rare Pearl. See, these are the things that he can't predict if he's not Michael. You could fake anything else. And for people who don't realize that Michael is an entertainer, Okay, that he knows how to make movies, that he knows how to put on disguises and masks. You're gonna get tripped up, okay? So anyway, um, so anyway, so here's a video that I did September 19, 2013. So we need to go to eight minutes, eight minutes. Oh, did I not get that right? No, come on, where is it? Oh, I didn't remember the time. Oh, remember the Rare Pearl? Oh, this is a good one. This is a good video. The whole Rare Pearl story is in this video. Pearly, pearly, pearly. Who remembers that? That was fun. Okay, so. Oh, man. Let me go back. You guys got to help me remember the time codes. Okay, so the time code on that one. Ah. Uh, Gosh, if I had Cecil and he didn't have to work so much, he could figure all this stuff out because I have to figure all this stuff out. I have a lot more stuff to tell you guys, but I didn't want it to be too complicated. Uh, 210, oh, at 813. Huh, at 813, this video, oh, it is 813, but it's in here somewhere. Let me show you another, oh, here it is. Here it is right here. Here it is, it's coming, it's coming. Okay, so here, see? And this is another way that, that it shows, and I did this video in September 19, 2013. See, there's another screenshot. Your account was created on June 24, 2009. Okay, he was first called Peter Pan PYT until August 2014 when the hater stole the name. See, he's tricky. He's tricky, okay? Really tricky. So if you are not up on things, you will get caught in the death hoax maze. Okay, oh, my phone is getting warm. Okay, while I'm cooling off my phone, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna find another historical perspective, okay? Another screenshot, okay, that shows um, that he opened the account on June 24th, 2009. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's another one. Okay, here's another one. And this is at 226. Okay, this one was done November, November 25th, 2014. Okay, so let's go and we'll find another screenshot in this video. I can't fake these videos, guys. I can't fake these videos. Oh, here's another screenshot. Okay. And here is another screenshot and another way that you can check when somebody joined Twitter. And there it is, the gloved one. Did you see it real fast? Let me put it back. Okay, so let's go here. And I'm telling them, you know, they, they're, they're, there it was, the gloved one. And this is a back screen, so this one's really important. Okay, see? He joined Twitter Wednesday, June 24th at 3.29 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, U.S. and Canada time zone. This is a back screen, okay? Can't fake that, right? So maybe Twitter has changed their rules, their policies to UCT time, UTC time, or whatever. But I'm here to give you multiple sources multiple timestamps that he opened his account June 24th, 2009. We're only talking seven hours, you know, only seven hours. And it's still impressive that a guy from North Carolina can knew that Michael was going to fake his death and he knew he was going to be instrumental and people have been thinking he was Michael since 2005 something that I didn't make up, something a lot of other people had thought, but he was smart. He threw a lot of people off the scent because he's been doing it for a long time. Plus, you have to remember, Michael was trained by the best magicians in the world. 
So he knows how to create deception. He knows how to throw you off his scent. He knows how to put in trickery, create pictures, create movie sets, cre change his voice to a speech impediment. He knows how to do these things. But how did he know that he was going to need to open a new account? Wednesday, June 24th, 03, 29 and 50 seconds, 2009. Pacific Standard Time, U.S. and Canada. You cannot take the rules of today and apply them to what was going on back then. This was the data. This is the third different uh, source that I am showing you that he joined the, uh, he opened on June 24th, 2009. But I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay, so let's go to a few more historical things. Okay, now I've showed you videos from years ago, multiple years ago, and all this other stuff. So I'm going to show a few more just kind of just to make sure, you know. So here's another one that I did. Okay. Here's another video. I need to go to 111, which is always lucky. So this is the first video I think I did. Um, see, see me? I'm much younger, right? I'm much younger. I'm kind of cute there, huh? Hey. Maybe I should wear my hair like that again, and I can look younger. Okay, so I'm going, oh, my fan fell. Okay, hold on. I am uh, trying to cool off my phone. So um, here I need to go to 111. Okay, one minute and one second. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So I'm going to show you this. Oh, that my phone. Okay, it stopped saying that. Okay, so. One, one, one. Okay, this video was done January 23rd, 2012. It's called Michael Jackson's Real or Fake. Okay, because I'm kind of like, dang, did Michael really call me? Woo, hot chocolate was coming. This is before the hot chocolate clue. And you guys, you advanced hoaxers, you know what the hot chocolate clue was, right? So how did he know to post a picture of hot chocolate and Chris Tucker to talk about hot chocolate and for him to email Chris Tucker before the event even happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's some guy from North Carolina, right? He's some guy from North Carolina, right? Okay, so, and the estate is so into Pearl Jr. Even though me and Peter are great friends, the estate, they're obsessed with me. They pay, they've been paying a guy for nine years to talk to me on the phone. I mean, not nine years, for six years. They've been paying a guy for six years to talk to me on the phone, you know, and, and it's just absurd because we have so for go from ashes. So we know, okay, that uh, uh, Peter's more than that. It's getting warm. Okay, so, oh, give me, let's count, let's count. I'm so sorry, guys. Gosh, I wish I had the editor. I wish I had... Cecil as my editor, you know, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay. Oh, look at Michael Jackson's This Is It. So you guys know I do my studying. I do my work. There's Michael Jackson's This Is It. See it? See it there? See it? Uh, okay. So my phone. So anyway, so here we go. I am going to show you, okay, another historical um, um, proof that he joined it this day. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And here I am. Here I am. Here I am. One, one, one. Okay, we're almost at. There we go. There it is again. How long have you been on Twitter? Here we go. June 24, 2009. See? There we go again. His name was Peter Pan PYT. And we we're talking about a difference of seven hours. And if he's some guy from just North Carolina, right? How did he know to open up his account the day before the death announcement? And if you want to add seven hours to it, be my guest. How did he know? How did he know? Right? Because he's just some guy, some fan from North Carolina who people have been thinking is Michael Jackson since 2005. Right? It doesn't change anything. He opened his account June 24th, and I'm showing you how they manipulate things, how they change dates, how they change times, how they cover up that they own things. And I am proving to you that once Michael feels like he has told too much, he backtracks. 
okay? Meanwhile, I should not have my credibility thrown in the tubes and be called a liar because he plays these games. You know what I'm saying? Because he plays these games. Okay, I think I have more even. I think I got even more. So let's see, let's cool off the phone while I find more of those videos. Because I knew to put, to put that screenshot in a lot of videos, I knew to do that. I just knew because I said, he's tricky. I need proof. I need to save it. I need to have proof. Okay, so here we go again. Um, now this time I'm going to 506. Okay, so let's pull up this video. And this video was done September 12th, September 17th, 2012. Michael Jackson, Bad 25 and the Rare Pearl. Yeah, that guy from North Carolina, boy, he told the estate, I'm going to call Pearl on, the, on January 15th, and I want you to name an album of Jackson 5 unreleased songs, The Rare Pearl, and uh, so that I'm giving her a wink, wink, nod, nod. And then a year from now, on the exact anniversary of the day I called her, let's release the cartoon series of Rare Pearl. But I'm just a guy from North Carolina with an overweight family. That's all I am. That's all I am. I'm nobody else. Okay, come on, come on. So where do I go? Okay, so let me find this for you guys here. This is the wink, wink, nod, nod video. What did I say that time code was? God, I get so caught up. Oh, that was fun. Remember that? Rolling Stones. And it said, it's alive on the cover of Rolling Stones in Paris. Oh, you guys got to watch a live two and a live three. You got to watch it. 506, I think, was the time. I think the time was 5.06, let's see. There it is. And for those of you who don't know, there is my credential for when I covered the, uh, let me go back just a little bit. This is my credential from when I was, um, I was media at the 2005 trial. Okay, phone getting warm, okay. All right, phone, okay, okay. So let me see, okay. So here is another screenshot in another in another video saying he opened his account June 24, 2009. Okay. Now, I want to do one more other thing. Now, to let you know that the Peter Pan PYT account is a different account because we've already went to the glove one, so we know there's a seven hour difference because it's 829 on the 23rd. You add seven, seven hours, it becomes, uh, wait, Wait, on the 23rd, 829 is when he says he registered it on Twitter right now. So it's exactly seven hours which later, which is June 24th, 2009 at 329 a.m. Okay, so now let's go back to followerme.com, F-O-L-L-E-R dot M-E. Okay, follow me. I feel like I'm a teacher or something. So we're going to go to followerme.com and we're going to put in Peter Pan PYT, right? Peter Pan PYT. This is proof that it's another account. PYT. Okay, it's another account. Okay, so now we're going to see when was this account open? When was this account open? Follower.me. When was this account open? Okay, because it's not the same.